We've identified seven categories of benefit, really, behind any RPA initiative. The first is when it comes to quality. That is, that all of the processes are performed without human error. Every process is performed exactly as per the rules that are defined. The next is around compliance. That quality and adherence to process is perfect for compliance. So if you're in a heavily regulated industry uh, where you need to demonstrate that you are performing the processes against certain rules and legislations, it's a great opportunity to, to leverage RPA for those benefits. The third is when it regards to speed. These processes can be performed 24-7 and can be scaled across a larger and flexible workforce, which means that if you need to respond to a peak in a surge in demand, you're able to do so a lot quicker than if you were to use uh, people in the traditional model. That also brings with it great agility, but also you get agility with regards to being able to transform your process and make process changes much quicker than if you were to roll it out across a, uh, a manual workforce. The next, when you're performing this scale of automation, you get a huge amount of data. You can see all of the data in any of the systems at the point at which you perform the, uh, the transaction. And you can capture all of that within a single database, which gives you a great opportunity to get some real insight from the data, to understand your, um, the patterns behind the transactions, and also what's driving certain behaviors. The next is experience, employee experience and staff experience. Uh, can both be improved by posit positively with RPA, uh, be it if you are uh, performing pay integration, um, if you're onboarding a new employee, or if you're responding to, to customer queries. The ability to do it to quality, quicker than you would be able to do it manually, and also to tailor that experience, provide uh, a, an enhanced service, because the lower cost to serve that RPA brings really br drives to a better experience. And last but not least, there is also a cost benefit. RPA typically performs at a third of a cost of an offshore resource and a ninth of a cost of an onshore resource. Um, but that's not really the main driver that we see behind our clients adopting this. We sometimes see that this is really more about how do you expand and grow your business without the linear costs associated with recruiting more people to do the same work. In essence, through automation, we're able to free up your best people to do your best work. And that is the real benefit that RPA. Over the last couple of years, we've seen huge growth in RPA deployments across a variety of sectors. The traditional ones of banking, financial services, utilities, um, insurance are still large areas where there's a lot of success. But we're also now starting to see it branch out into other territories. So for example, we are helping clients within banking, within entertainment, and within um, more specialist services such as the US, health, US healthcare. And really this, this is what guides a good opportunity for RPA is really coming back to those key tenants of structured rule-based work and digital inputs and outputs. And we find those uh, within these sectors in abundance.